Good morning, Renee. Thank you so much for coming in. So Mental Health America actually acknowledged the Greater Houston Chapter for having a mentally healthy workplace, right? Absolutely. We received the bell seal for workplace mental health. So, and it's a, a certification that is given to corporations that um, are really committed to creating psychologically healthy workspaces. And so is that something that you guys had to actually work to achieve? Is that something that you kept in mind? Well, on a day -to -day I basis? think we work to achieve that every day yeah. and, to, and to maintain that, especially as a mental health organization. But um, there was an application process and um, any corporation can do this and we'd be happy to help those corporations get to that point where they can achieve that certification. And I think that's so important because we hear a lot about toxic work environments. So what is something that, what are the top ways that you would recommend that people improve their work culture? So I think um, what's really important for leaders is to model self-care. It really shows your employees the value that you place and the understanding you have for simply being human. Um, another way to do that is really thinking about developing your managers. Make sure you're developing them in a way that they are supportive and emotionally intelligent in order to um, support your employees the way that that they need to be supported. What are some examples of ways that they can do that? I mean, is this as simple as just taking your vacation time or what would this mean? Well, um, there's a lot of different ways to do that. So. Um, one of the ways that we do that is we make sure we have generous PTO. We actually move from that separate vacation, personal days to PTO and make sure you're offering enough where people can pursue rest as well as their interests. Mm. Um, find a way to do fun things, right? Yeah. I, so it's spring and if you work for Mental Health America of Greater Houston, you get to pr participate in an annual egg hunt, right? It's not very expensive. We offer some days off, we offer gift cards. It is the best day to work at Mental Health America and our team absolutely loves that. Um, encourage, uh, self, um, encourage open conversations around mental health and always respect confidentiality. That is really important. And provide resources, easy way to do. Contact us, we can give you those resources. Mm -hmm. Well, I heard about your egg hunt, right? <laughs> and I heard that your employees actually liked it. And I was thinking, you know, a lot of people are going to hear that and think like, okay, like that sounds cute and fun, but like, I don't have time for that. Yep. I'm on a deadline. Yep. I've got other work that I need yep. to be doing. So how can we still sure. Sure. have a healthy work environment without like taking away from the priorities of the workplace? Right. So, you know, it really starts on day one for your employees. So one of the things that we do is we give every new employee a five minute gratitude journal and we create a uh, new job humor survival kit. And I brought one of the items for you, Haley. Oh yeah, what is it? Okay, what is this? Press. Press. <laughs> is this a laughter is contagious? Something <laughs> like thing. that, right? Uh -huh. I keep him on my desk and so do our employees. If you just need that break for a minute, right? Uh -huh. So it really sets up um, and understanding with new employees that, that you're supporting their mental health. So um, thinking about um, if your employer has an EAP, if they don't, they should look at that, look for that. That's an employee, assist, well, employee yeah, assistance that? program. Okay. So a lot of companies have it, but they don't realize that there are different benefits that you can put on that it, within that. Um, insurance program. So one of the things that, that we did several years ago is we added um, six free mental health visits per year, per occurrence, and that is extended to families. We're a small organization. We're a not-for-profit, right? This is a, a fairly low cost to do that. And it, again, it really shows your employees that you really value their their mental health. Well, and I would encourage employees to go and check and see if they have something like that because a lot of times you have it and don't even realize what the yeah. benefits are behind yeah. it. I mean, they can offer like legal expertise, mental health. They can offer things that aren't covered by your other Absolutely. health benefits or things like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. And one of my other um, favorite things to tell people is if you have a room, maybe it's a closet or somewhere in your in, in your organization that you're not really utilizing, create a relaxation room, right? Mm -hmm. So 
just five or 10 minutes where somebody can escape and just relax and it can reduce their anxiety. And if you can't do that, set up an aromatherapy station. We'd love to show companies how to do that. The more you can demonstrate that you care about people's mental health, the more productive your employees will be. It certainly will impact recruitment, retention, and productivity because we know that in the United States, one million people a day miss work due to stress. Yeah, yeah. And Mental Health America obviously recognizes that our Houston chapter is doing this right. So did you have to implement a lot of these things, like m maybe after the pandemic when people had to come back into the office? Did you have to change oh, a lot? Oh, we did. Uh -huh. we, we certainly did, yeah. Went from being in the office every day and then you, you go to a, we are a hybrid organization. Mm -hmm. We've invested a lot of time in making sure people feel connected because you spend a lot of time at work, whether you're yes. in on Zoom in a meeting or you're in person. Yeah. So you really have to be open to making adjustments. You have to be flexible and you have to count on your employees. You have to ask them questions. When you do your annual survey every year, make sure you put some questions in around mental health and then take those ideas, take that information and develop supports around it. The return on investment is priceless. Yeah. Well, a lot of people tried to go back to just their old ways after the pandemic, go back to the office and do things the same way. And really, I think what we're seeing from people calling their workplace toxic or not being able to retain employees is it's because they we just don't live in the same world anymore. We do not. Yeah, it's yeah. it's and mental it's, health is important to people now. Absolutely. absolutely. Which is it's probably getting, yeah. the best thing that came out of the pandemic. <laughs> absolutely. Right? Yes. Yes. And we're seeing more and more employers who are calling us and saying, help us. Good. We, good to know. So people can actually reach out to Mental Health America oh, and use you as do. a resource. Absolutely. How can they reach absolutely. you? So you can reach, reach us. Uh, email is info at mhahouston.org. That's often the easiest way. We do trainings. We can provide, you know, flyers, resources. Uh, there's so much we can do for you. I can't even, I can't remember it all, but yeah. train your staff, right? Yeah. How to be that emotionally intelligent people manager. Yeah. So full disclosure, I'm on the board of directors with MHA and I know that they do really great work all across our community. So thank you, Renee, for coming in and sharing these tips. I think it should help a lot of employees and employers out there to make for a healthy work environment and <laughs> laughter is one of the best medicines. Absolutely.